So you probably spent most of your life trying to avoid them, but the Maritime Aquarium at Norwalk is on a mission to change that. We are talking about jellyfish. Joining me now is Kara Kenevik, the Associate of Social Media Engagement at the Maritime Aquarium, along with Courtney Hartle, the co-owner of Source Coffee House, and Barista Ashley Bouchahane, uh, who actually won a contest we're going to tell you about. But first, Kara, let's start with you, because this yes. is a really fun uh, exhibit, and it's uh, got some extra hours for vacation time, right? Yes. So I brought with me the stars of our Jiggle and Jelly <laughs> exhibit and from April 12th to April 20th we're going to be open daily for April break so if you're looking for something fun and exciting to do you can come touch a moon jelly they have they have a sting but it's not harmful to most people and you can just touch the tops of them and you can get really close to some of our animals that's pretty cool. And now, uh, the reason we have our two other guests here in the kitchen is because we were doing a jiggle, jiggle a jelly latte kind of decorating contest, more yes. or less. Explain to us the details. So, kind of, it was a kind of a fun way for us to engage with our fans and with um, other local businesses as well. And so, we kind of challenged local coffee shops to create the best jellyfish latte. And Ashley created a mom and a baby jelly, and it was so <laughs> cute, and um, everyone really responded well to it, and she won. All right, these are pretty cool. We have some pictures. We're going to show you the runner-ups before we show you Ashley's, but uh, this is pretty creative. It's kind of foaming all over the coffee cup there. <laughs> That's great, and people were voting on them online, right? Yeah. That's a beautiful design. Oh, I like that one, too. You had some stiff competition here, Oh yeah, Ashley, right? Wow. All right, and I think the next one we have is the winner, right? Let's take a look. Show us Ashley's Jiggle a Jelly Latte winner. Wow. How, all right, explain to us how you do this. It looks a little complicated. Yeah, uh, well, I did it basically the way we do most of our lattes, which we try to put a design in every cup. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started just by pouring the body and the main tail, uh -huh. and then I went back and etched in some of the smaller tentacles. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and you've got all of your customers to vote for you, I'm assuming? Yeah. That's how it worked? Yeah, we actually, while we were in this competition, we were making a lot of jellyfish lattes <laughs> to promote the, uh, the contest. Sure. It looks almost too pretty to, to drink there. But, uh, uh, Courtney, I want to ask you a little bit about the coffee house. It's kind of unique. Where is it located? We're at 2889 Fairfield Ave in the Black Rock neighborhood of Bridgeport. And it's fairly new, right? Yes, we just opened in January. And now, uh, what do you guys serve? Well, we serve delicious lattes with maybe a jellyfish in them. Maybe a jellyfish. <laughs> uh, and a, a new thing we're introducing is actually pour over coffee where you can get your cup of coffee brewed fresh right in front of you. That's great. In fact, you brought some, well, accoutrements with you. Let's switch places and show us how to brew what you say is the best cup of coffee at home. Yes, this is something right. you can do at home and this will yeah. give you um, a delicious cup of coffee and you're in complete control of how it tastes, which is awesome. All right, so let's get started. What do we have? All right, so right here we have our V60 pour over from Hario, and uh, we've already pre wet our filter and ground up our coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and zero out our scale. And then just even that out a little bit and put a little divot in the middle, and that's going to help you evenly distribute the water. So then you want to get your water at about 200 degrees. We have our nice water boiler here that keeps it at a steady temperature. And then you're going to start start your timer and then just start with about a 50 gram bloom. And what wow. this is, uh, you don't want too much coffee to come through, you just want to saturate the beans. Okay. Um, this actually lets the carbon dioxide gas get out of the coffee, oh, there's which is behind like this. this is an art, but it is also a science. And so when you let that escape, the coffee is going to brew a lot better. Really, and we could taste the difference. Oh yes. Wow. And is this equipment we could buy at home oh, and have yeah. at home? Absolutely. Just... We'll actually we'll put this up on our Facebook page, and okay. if anyone wants to invest, it's a easy. Set up. Do you need the scale also? I mean, I guess you want to have the perfect You know, you can just use a basic kitchen scale, which okay. most people have. You can do it without a scale, but if you want to really hone in on that perfect cup of coffee, <laughs> you want to weigh it. And this is what you do in your shop? You uh, do this right as the customer waits? Yes. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All right, we're going to let that brew, Ashley. You continue with that. And in the meantime, let's take a look at some video. And, uh, Carrie, you could explain to us all the fun that's going on at the uh, aquarium. Yes. We're going to uh, put it up in a moment, but in the meantime, the kids actually get to touch the top of the, the uh, fish, right? Yes, so at the aquarium, you know, we really want people to get close to the animals on Long Island Sound. And you can find moon jellies in Long Island Sound, and there's kind of that 
fear of jellyfish right. and we want people to overcome that just by showing you that you really can get close to them and you can touch them and we have volunteers there who direct you on how to touch them properly. Are much yes. bigger than what we're looking at yes. here, right? These are littler so we can put them in our travel tank but um, jellies can get up to the size of like a dinner plate, uh, these types can. So there's definitely um, a range of sizes in our exhibit. Wow, pretty cool stuff. All right, and it uh, looks like we're getting a little bit, right? The coffee's coming. Oh, yeah. it's coming, yeah. There you go, looks great. All right, uh, well, we're going to kind of taste this at the end of the show. Uh, Courtney, tell us one more time where the shop is located. We are 2889 Fairfield Ave in Bridgeport's Black Rock neighborhood. Very good, and this is the pour over coffee. Yes. I like it. All right, and congratulations uh, to you, Ashley. That was a Thank really you. impressive jellyfish. Do you have any other specialties? Um, I, I can make a bunch of different designs. In fact, <laughs> everyone who comes in gets a heart in their cup. Oh, see, that's bit sweet. I like that. Yeah. All right, let's put some information up on the screen. You can go check out Jiggle a Jelly exhibit at the Maritime Aquarium uh, tomorrow through April 20th. To find out more, visit MaritimeAquarium.org. This is pretty fun, ladies. Thanks so much for being here.